Well, we were sitting glassing. I'm fine. I know I've already said this, but I'm going to say it again. We were sitting glassing. We were talking. We were glassing. 1,000, 1,500 yards away. Hit some deer. And I looked up. Mikey was running camera down below us. And I looked up over his head, and there was a buck 35 yards away. A big buck 35 yards away. It's actually the buck that we came in here looking for and we wanted to get a better look at him, and we did. Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. Get that damn spotter out. That's what you say. Sorry for my language. So what did Tanner do? Well, Tanner, uh, uh, Tanner? Tanner, I love it when Tanner gets excited and says, get that spotter out. That means he's uh, possibly laid eyes on a decent deer. Um, told me, get out of the truck, quit Instagramming, and let's look at this buck. What do you like about this deer? Oh, he's got a big fang. I can't tell what, his, what else he is, but he makes that non-typical from last night look like a dink fang-wise. Is it cold? No. My adrenaline just jumped, just pumped when Tanner said, oh, ho, oh, oh, oh. that's what he did. He, oh, it's kind of a guttural from the diaphragm. And so we're going to take a look at this guy and see if this is a perspective, uh, excuse me while I get some coffee, a perspective mark. But uh, we just went for a little walkabout, and we did see that big, uh, well, the small framed 18 point whatever, non-typical. We saw him, and there was a bigger buck with him at first light. But we weren't able to get eyes on him. That was the one we were really interested in. But a lot of deer, a lot of deer. On the shrubbery. On the shrubbery. Right, we found the buck that we've called flyers just because for lack for a better word he's got two flyers off outside of his rack and he's on the same ridge and he is impressive it's an impressive little deer but the question is, is he the one? Golly. So glad you encroached on my glassing position. You can see him from over there too. Hey, you know. dude, I just want to be close to you though, buddy. I apparently, what the heck? He is right in front of that tree. It's a big deer. I know, isn't he gorgeous? He's got the kickers. I don't, I can't see that much detail from this far away. See, that buck is wider than his ears. I think that might be a 190 inch deer. Too bad he doesn't have all the stuff that not typical had. Can you imagine if he had all the points? He'd be 220. I think if we're not going to go after this guy, then we got to go f try and find something else. Something bigger. Something bigger. There's his, I think that's his doe. But he's right there. I mean, I don't know that we could get into him. 
If we're going to make that type of commitment, we got to know that we're going to shoot him. Wouldn't you agree with that? Well, yeah. I think probably the only way to know if you're going to shoot him, though, is to look at him closer. <laughs> well, uh, can I just say one thing? Uh, I don't know if it's intelligent, I guess. If I get closer to him, as impressed as I am right here with him, I'm probably going to shoot him. <laughs> you never know. I mean, with you, it's probably a good bet, but... I do think, though, that would be a commitment to get in there, and there's a lot of deer in there. Hmm. That'll allow us to go out and meet uh, Drummond, see what he's, what, where he's going to look. Where oh, is he going to come? He said he was going to head up. Yeah. Good, good to talk to him and see He's kind of this unit a lot. Has he? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, that's what I got the feeling from him. He, he knew. He, like he said, have you guys have you guys glassed that spot I sent you from the front of the road? I said, yes. Did you glass the diamond S? I said, a little bit, not much. Can't hunt it. <laughs> Did you happen to? Uh, I said we also went up on the top and glass down. So, but then I lost signal, so I haven't landed. But I think he's on his way up. I'm just not. I'm I, honestly, I'm just not used to seeing this quality of buck that you don't even give a second look at, and it. Be, that's a, I mean, that's one of the best bucks we would see out on a normal hunt and just be extremely excited about, you know? Yeah. No, I know. And that, that's why I'm having a hard time with my blood pressure in regards to seeing that buck and then thinking I could get a shot at him with my bow, even though he might only be 170, 175 inches. Nothing too big yet, he says. What can I talk about? What can I talk about? Well, give me something. Mm -hmm. This rock's got a nice little backdrop to it. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Real nice buck. Oh, man. Oh, we're starting to see deer move. We got that going for us. We just gotta find. Some muy grande banado or banal. Muy grande banal. Oh, ah. All right. Anytime it's four o'clock, buck deer starting to really move. Now it's, hey, look at this buck right here. Turn around. Oh shit, that's him. That's him. Yeah, right there. Dude, right there. get your bow. Get your freaking bow.
Hold on, he's gonna freaking get to private drive. And he walks up 30 yards and we're glassing. He bows in the back of the truck. <laughs> Could have killed him right there. I mean, first of all, whenever does a buck like that walk up on you when you're talking and you're glassing? Here, we're literally joking around, looking at deer that are a mile away. And he steps up and I tell Mike, he's right there. And I think, I, I guess, did you think I was joking? I thought you meant he was like... No, I mean like he was right there. <laughs> so then Tanner and I go and scramble. I can't get the zip. Then I can't get an arrow out. I got him there at 52 yards, but Tanner made a good point. If I shot him, his thing is he's going to jump that fence and we'll never get permission to go retrieve him on that private ground. And gosh, that's a good deer. Is that the deer from the picture? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a good deer. Why didn't I just take the gun out and shoot him? <laughs> He'll be around. Literally, I couldn't get an arrow out. I couldn't. I, know. I, I was I, like, I was, I was the stereotypical person that couldn't shoot the deer because he didn't have an arrow. <laughs> Dude, I'm shaking like a freaking leaf. I couldn't get my release on. I know. I, said, I, was, I was like, sitting I, I, like, I, I literally, I was doing this and I kept dropping it in the dirt. Oh, he's so ruddy. Hmm? He's gonna be, he's ruddy. I mean, all we can hope for is that we catch him back looking at does on this. Was that the one? Oh, that, I mean. What was that? How, where do you think that deer would go? Uh, I don't know. Did you get him on that camera? I got him on this one for sure. Oh, frick. What did you, what would you have got? <laughs> With that camera? Be on the road, yeah. Uh, Dude, you want to hear something stupid? What? I turn around and I go to film him in this this camera, I don't know what the hell happened, it shut down. So I went That's over and grabbed the, the Canon 7200 and, and snuck over there. He didn't have any idea I was there. Flipped it around, got on him, had this turning back on. And then it was on by the time I got up to the road where he drew back. So I got that thing there. Well, I've never had that happen. He was before. right by that... that that cedar tree. It's got to be what 30 yards. Well, he was he was past that. He was probably 45. When I first saw him, dude, he was right here. He came out. He, I know. He must have come out of his crawl. Yep. Where do you think that buck goes? But he's up. I mean, 190. He's up there. I don't know. His freaking beams are huge. His beams are like. Beam, his beams are as tall as his front. 
damn near. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had a bow. I should have had my bow ready. Oh, you could have smoked it with a rifle. <laughs> What's that right there? I think those. Dude, my legs are shaking now. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to get my bow ready. I mean, the chance of that happening again are zero. But. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below. And as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.